All right then, gang. So we've seen a few different examples now of how we can use middleware in a Nuxt app, either by adding the middleware directly to the page, and that was called inline middleware, or by making a file for the middleware and applying it to pages by adding it to the array of middleware defined for those pages. And that was called named middleware. And also that's how we chain middleware together. Now there's one more way of adding route middleware, which I want to show you, and that is by using global middleware. And global middleware is any middleware that we want to apply to every single route on the site. So for example, I might want to apply the auth middleware to every single page on the website. Now I could do that by adding it manually to the array for middleware on each page, like we have done for the index and the admin page, or I could just make a global middleware file, which Nuxt automatically then applies to every single page without me having to add it manually. So then I'm going to make this auth middleware global. And the way we do that is by just changing the file name so that after auth, we say .global.ts or .js if you're using JavaScript. And now Nuxt knows that this is global middleware and it applies it automatically to every single route. It also means that we can remove the auth middleware from the arrays on the index page and on the admin page because we no longer have to apply them directly gets applied automatically now. All right, so we've done that, but just two things. First, global middleware always runs first before any named middleware and before inline middleware. So you need to be aware of that. Now, if you've got multiple global middleware functions or files, they're gonna run in alphanumeric order according to their file name. So something starting with an A, runs before a file starting with a B, for example. And that means you might need to name your files using numbers at the start, like 01, 02, 03, and so forth, if you need global middleware to run in a specific order. Second, in making this auth middleware global, we've caused a couple of issues that we need to address because now we're applying this auth middleware to every single page, not just the index one and the admin one, but also to the login page, for example and that's gonna affect the behavior of the site. So we need to edit the code inside this function now to address these issues. And we're also gonna extend the functionality of the middleware just a little bit as well. First then, we're gonna still get the cookie. Then, where we redirect the user to the login page, we also wanna add another condition to the if check. And that condition is gonna to be to make sure we're not already heading to the login page, because if we are already heading to the login page, then we don't really need to redirect the user to the login page, that makes no sense. So we can just say right here, double ampersand, and then two dot path, and make sure that that is not equal to forward slash login. So now we're not redirecting users to the login page if that's where they were already heading in the first place. Next up, I wanna make it so that if a user is already logged in, so this authenticated cookie does have a value and a user is going to the login page, then we navigate them to the index page because if a user's already logged in, they don't need to be going to the login page, right? So then let me just paste in this snippet of code right here that does that. And you can see that we say, if the user is authenticated and they're heading to the login route, then redirect them to the homepage. All right then, so hopefully now this all works. So then, moment of truth. Let me first of all log in. All right, so login. Um, we can see we're on the index page. Now, if I try to go to the login page, then I can't. It's just redirecting me over here. If I try to go to the admin page because I'm not an admin, I get the 403 error. All right, now let's try logging out, first of all. So everything seems to be working there. Now what I want to do is change the role to admin. So if we go to the login page, we can come down here and change this to admin and then press save. And then I'm just gonna scoot this back over here. I'm gonna log in again. In fact, we need to refresh first to catch that change. I'm gonna log in as Mario, whatever for the password, login. We should see the admin page, which we can, awesome. If we try to go to the login page again, we should get redirected to the home page because we're already logged in, awesome. And if we try to log out, we get redirected to the login page. This is still working. Okay, everything is working now. But now we've got that global middleware making things much easier. And we don't have to manually add that middleware then to any page which we want to password protect. It's doing that automatically. 
So then my friends, I really, really hope you enjoyed this series and you learned something along the way. If you did, please, please, please don't forget to share, subscribe and like. That really means a lot. And if you want to access all of my YouTube courses without adverts, also get access to premium courses and early access courses as well, you can do at netninja.dev. You can sign up for NetNinja Pro, which is just $9 a month and also half price for the first month with this promo code right here and for that like i said you get access to every course without adverts without youtube adverts you also get access to exclusive courses not found anywhere else you get access to my premium courses on udemy and also early access to all of my youtube courses as well so the link to this page to sign up is going to be down below again i really hope you enjoyed this series and i'm going to see you in the very next one